Welcome to the Kitchen Radio on Wake Up Nigeria. Today, we are going to prepare something really interesting. And as usual, we have a chef with us. How are you doing today, Chef Imano? I'm good, man. Great to have you in the studio with us. Now, what is for breakfast? What are we having for breakfast? What are you preparing for us? Chicken escalo. Chicken escalo. Now, this is something I'm sure you find very interesting. It does seem like, oh, such a simple dish. But you can see all the ingredients on the table right now. And they are currently on your screen as well. Now, let's take a look at the ingredients one after the other. Here is the egg. The eggs. The breadcrumbs. Okay. The oil. Okay. The cooking cream. Okay. Yeah, is um, the veg for okay. the steamed veg. Cucumber, carrots, um, onions, and green, uh, red pepper. Red pepper, and then I think that's uh, lemon. lemon as well. Garlic. Oh, yes, this garlic. No ginger. No ginger. Okay. All right. We have mushroom here. Okay, mushrooms. And the boneless chicken. Chicken breast. Yes. Okay. Then here is the potato. The potato. potato. Okay. Then here is the butter. butter. The white pepper. Okay. The chicken seasoning. Okay. And the oil seasoning. Everything seasoning. Okay. Then we have the white okay, wine. Okay, all here. spices are yes. this one. Okay. White wine. Okay. White wine. Okay. Yes. And the flour. And the flour. Okay, that's breadcrumbs, right? Yes. Okay, so and of course oil. So yeah. what's the process? Run me through the process. The process. What we are starting with is the potato. Okay. Because it takes time. Okay. So are we going to cut it up, or we are going to boil it, or what are we doing to the potatoes? First, uh, peel it and boil it. We'll peel it and boil it. Before sauteing. Then we'll saute. So yes. peel, boil, saute. That's what we're doing to the potatoes. Yes. After that, what happens? What are we using the cream, the eggs, and the crumbs for? The uh, crumbs is for the escalope. Okay. The, crumb, uh, the bread crumbs, the egg, okay. and the flour. Okay, and for the chicken? Yes. Okay. Now, why the mushroom is for the creaming? Because we are doing creamy mushroom sauce in white wine. Okay. So, and what we are going to use is the mushroom, okay. then a little onions, okay. the cooking cream, okay. and at the same time, the white wine. Okay, so that's the creamy mushroom sauce in, in white wine. Okay, so let's just say that we are having, like, um, from what I can see, about three different dishes that we're going to make, but everything is going to come together to make one meal. So we have the potatoes on the side. They're going to be boiled and sorted and then of course we have the chicken that will definitely end up being crunchy because we have flour and um, breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs as well and then of course we have the mushrooms so we're going to make a creamy mushroom sauce in white wine so basically those are the ingredients we're making use of this morning for breakfast so let's get started what's the first thing you're going to do cut up the vegetables the potatoes the potatoes okay so let's see how you're going to cut them are they going to be in cubes or slices. That's your that's your knife here. Yeah. Oh, sh yeah. No. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh supposed to be scraper, but since okay. there's no scraper, okay. Okay. we can use our knife. Okay. okay. So let's see you do that. So now most people have different ways of cutting their potatoes. Go ahead. Uh, some people will tell you that uh, they cannot cut without cutting the edges as usual. The ingredients are on your screen again, by the way, for the chicken escalope, which is what we are having for breakfast this morning, okay? And then some people will tell you that, oh, there has to be a certain way, certain style uh, to their potatoes. And it does seem like uh, Chef Manu has his own style as well. Once I cut it, once I peel it, the cutting will be in cube. Okay, the cutting will be in cubes. Yes. Okay, so that's what I was asking earlier. So when you see it later, you will see that we cubed them all up. So are there other ways you can make this? Can I make beef escalope? Can I make shrimp escalope? Or what makes escalope is chicken itself. Chicken. chicken. What you can make with beef to be either beef skewer. It should be beef skewer. Yeah, okay, but if you're using chicken, that's when it becomes escalope. Beef. Ah, okay, okay. We still have Chef Emmanuel here, and he's making us breakfast, chicken escalope. A lot has happened between the last time you saw us and now. He's been doing a lot of cutting and chopping and dicing and cubing. And uh, right now, he's going to show us what he's done so far. The potatoes are boiling, right? Yes, the potatoes are boiling. Okay, so what's the next thing we're doing? And you can see the veg, the veg for the steamed veg yeah. is ready. Okay. And here is our... They are chunky. Is yes. that deliberate? Yes, exactly. Okay. So, so here is our chicken. I've sliced it already, okay. ready to for seasoning. Okay, so we're going to season the chicken now. Yes, okay, now. so let's do that. 
And then, of course, so, we still have the cream and the mushroom. We're going to make that as well. So, let's so get I'm started. I'm going to use my chicken, uh, everything seasoning. Okay. To season the... The chicken. The chicken. Okay. So, that's chicken seasoning itself. Yes. And then the all-purpose as well. All you need to do is just sprinkle. Okay. Now, I noticed you, are, you don't have salt. Is it deliberate? Does the chicken seasoning make up for salt? Yes, there's salt. It does. So you don't need to really worry about salt when you have chicken seasoning, right? Yes. Because uh -huh. if you use salt, it might be salty. It might end up being so, salty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have um, the chicken seasoning itself and the all-purpose seasoning. That's the one that some call adobe or something like that. So adobo rather. So you can always get that. Uh, but there are different um, types of it. So you can just go to the market and ask for all-purpose seasoning. Okay, so that really helps your dish taste-wise. So everything will be seasoned, right? Yes. Okay. Now, you would expect that when it's so thin, it's just going to be pan-seared, but this isn't all there is to it. You're actually going to wrap it up in crumbs, right? Yes, and Put flour. It, and then flour, and as well as egg. This so we're going to have it crunchy. This is just the first process. Yeah. But we're not going to do that now, by the way. We're not going to do that now. What we're actually going to do is just to season it uh, so that we can have it develop a taste. Okay? Uh, the frying will be done much later on the show. Okay. So this is the white pepper? Yes. Okay. So you already put some in. I have it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So, from this, we move to the mushrooms. Now, how are we going to make the mushrooms? First, you first chop the, you slice the, the Okay, let, let's see you slice that. Okay. okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is to slice the mushrooms. Yes. Okay? So, we're slicing it up. Okay. You know how chefs make it look super easy until you decide to pick the same items in your kitchen and it becomes the eighth wonder of the world. But it's all good. So I had mushroom sauce over the weekend and I was thinking to myself, there are actually so many things you can use to make your sauce or your meals, but we limit ourselves to just chicken, fish and meats when there are so many options, tasty options as a matter of fact. If only you could try or if you could explore. It goes a long way. So now when this has been cut up, what happens next? Should I bring the pan here? Pour it. Okay. So the potatoes are the ones on the side here, boiling. Just in case you're wondering what's so happening there. After slicing, all you need to do is just chop small. Okay. So you still chop it again? Yes. Okay. So for those of us without very good knife skills like you, can't we just do the cutting and the chopping once and for all? No, it's not everything that you You chop. would have to chop. Okay, yes. so it's just some of it you chop. Yes. Aha. Okay. Okay. So what happens next? I think it's fine like this. Okay. So what are we going to do? Garlic? Yes. Okay. So after the garlic? The onions. The onions. Yes. Okay. So the garlic and the onions are actually going into the sauce? Yes. Okay. So the pan is ready. Uh, what's the first thing that goes in? The cream? The butter. Or the butter? Yes. Okay. Yes, our block butter. Okay. So how much butter goes in? Just a tablespoon. Just a tablespoon. Half. Okay. So this is a tablespoon. Well, I assume this is about it, or a little more. Do we take a little more? I think it's okay. Let's use it. okay like that. It should be okay like this. Okay. So we're going to put a tablespoon of oil. Then when the oil, uh, the, uh, the butter rather, when the butter is melted, you put in the, the onion and... Um, the garlic. The garlic. Yes. And then when those are ready, we put in the... the cream, right? No, the mushroom. The mushroom. So the mushrooms go in. So we are kind of like pan searing the mushrooms before the cream. Okay. Yes, uh, we've got King Solo here. Chef Emmanuel is today's chef and yes. he's made breakfast. Now, breakfast is? Chicken escalo and um, potato mushroom. 
creamy moist. Please dig in. So what's your opinion? I know you took good. a bite. Yeah, it you, you like tastes, it. Tastes beautiful. Tastes you should fantastic. try the chicken as well. Yeah. There's a knife under there. There's a knife there. I don't eat meat. <laughs> Yo, are you serious? You're vegetarian? No, 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 like right now. I'm not right now. Okay. Oh, okay. You're going through a phase. Oh, yeah, That's I'm going through a phase. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you so much, Chef Emmanuel.